built by the John Brown Yard on Clydeside and launched in 1934, with a length of nearly 1,020 feet, she was Britain's largest and fastest ship. The Queen Mary was to be one of two superliners which would operate a weekly transatlantic service between Britain and the United States, replacing the three ships which had previously been used. Following her maiden voyage in May 1936 and a few subsequent teething problems, she soon broke the record for the fastest round trip and gained the sought-after blue ribbon. This occasion was the liner's last cruise and arrival at Southampton on the 10th of October, 1967. Her paying off pennant can be seen flying from her rear mast. It was 310 feet in length, 10 feet for each of her 31 years in service. Two Alexander Company tugs are at her bow, with Red Funnel's cow shot amidships on the starboard side. This was the end of a distinguished ocean-going career, which had begun during the golden age of travel. During the Second World War, she carried over 800,000 troops, and following her post-war refit, the Queen Mary and her sister ship, Queen Elizabeth, embarked upon the two-ship weekly service for which they had been designed nearly two decades earlier. She may have enjoyed exceptional popularity previously, but the jet age had arrived. The era of travel by liner was almost at an end and the two Cunard Giants were about to be sold. She was purchased by the city of Long Beach, California, where she remains in retirement as a floating hotel and tourist attraction. Her final departure from Southampton came in October 1967.
but it does explain why there's been so much activity. We'll talk about some of that inside. But there is one ghost that I need to tell the story before we get in. It's a little girl named Jack. <laughs>
telegraph. Pinnacle held a compass.